What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well, feeling great, and enjoying freedom. It's a great day to have a great day. Today I wanted to talk about a couple of different asset classes. I want to talk about stocks, bonds, cash, but more specifically, I want to talk about gold because gold is lagging behind, and I'm going to explain why that is. We're going to get into it, but really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Subscribe to my second channel for weekly videos. Get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel. Come and join us in the VIP club for giveaways, live streams, deal alerts, and a whole lot more. And of course, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. If you refer a friend to the app by the end of the month, they're going to give you 15 free fractional shares. And if you refer three friends to the app by the end of the month, you're going to get all the way up to 20 free shares of Apple. Everything will be linked in the description. So today, as I'm filming this video, it is Sunday. I just finished up a 75 hour work week. I feel physically and mentally dead right now. Thank God I have my G Fuel Energy Formula, sugar-free, low-calorie, packed with a whole bunch of vitamins, 50 different flavors to choose from, $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. All right, so today I wanted to talk about a couple of different things. I wanted to talk about different asset classes like stocks, bonds, gold, and cash because I was just looking at some numbers and I found this inflation-adjusted chart on the Joshua Kennan website. I believe it's joshuakennan.com if you want to check out what I was checking out. And I found something pretty interesting. On the site, you can see that over the last 196 years, a $10,000 investment in the stock market had provided a 5.6 billion with a B 5.6 billion dollar return with inflation already factored in a ten thousand dollar investment in bonds over the last 196 years has provided an eight million dollar return with inflation factored in and a ten thousand dollar investment or as I like to say, conversion to gold has provided a $26,000 return with inflation factored in. Now again, one more time. These are the inflation adjusted returns. Over the last 196 years, stocks have had an average annual return of 7%. We know this. And we understand, or at least we should understand by now, that broad market index funds are the greatest hands-off approach to building long-term wealth. Bonds, on the other hand, have had an average annual return of 3.5%, lower than stocks, obviously, but guess what? Much lower volatility during the rocky times. Bonds are added to portfolios as a buffer. A stability play. Investors buy stocks during bull markets and they buy bonds during bear markets. And then of course, back to gold, the beautiful yellow metal, which by looking at these inflation adjusted numbers, has been put to shame. But has it? Has it really? Sure, gold hasn't performed like stocks or bonds, but it's not supposed to. It's not an investment, or at least I don't believe it should be looked at as an investment. It's a way to preserve wealth, not build it. Stocks allow the investor to reap the rewards of a growing company or an index of growing companies. Bonds allow the investor to get interest on a loan taken out by a company. Gold, unfortunately, just sits there. It can be used in a lot of different ways, plenty of intrinsic value, but it's not a productive asset on its own. That's just the way it is. And by the way, one might be laughing at gold's performance, which yeah, compared to stocks and bonds, it is laughable, but what if we compared gold to K 
cash. What would happen then? Gold is up almost 3x, adjusted for inflation. Meanwhile, cash is down over 90% because of inflation. The dollar bill has lost about 92% of its purchasing power since 1933. So you tell me, would you rather be up about 3x or I guess technically 2.6x or be down 90%? Something to think about. Just because gold isn't the best doesn't mean that it's bad at all. I love gold. Huge fan of gold. I've been a huge fan of gold for about half a decade now. This December, in a couple of months, will be five years of stacking. I think it's a fantastic way to diversify. And plus, who can look at a nice, shiny gold coin and not smile? They say money can't buy you happiness, but it can buy you gold. And that's about the same thing. So once again, just something to think about. Just something to talk about. I thought the chart was pretty interesting. Again, it's on the Joshua Kennan website. I believe it's joshuakennan.com. Go check it out. Read the article. Read through it for yourself. Look at the numbers if that's what you'd like to do. And most importantly, please remember, there's a difference between wealth preservation and wealth building. Saving in a smarter way and generating in a smarter way. They're different games. Financial offense versus financial defense. Different stages of the game. Just something to keep in the back of your head. If you guys like today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Go and get yourself some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel in the biggest possible way. Come and join us in the VIP club for giveaways every single month, live streams every single week, deal alerts on silver and gold almost every single day. You can watch all of my videos early and commercial free, and there are a ton of other perks as well. I guarantee you it's worth it. And of course, last but certainly not least, make sure to go and get your up to 12 free fractional shares by downloading Weeble and funding your account. You can deposit as little as you'd like, even as little as a penny. It still works. It still counts. You still get your up to 12 free fractional shares of some of the most rock solid companies on the planet, by the way. Coca-Cola, Ford, the list goes on. If you refer a friend to the app by the end of the month, Weeble's going to give you 15 free fractional shares for the referral. And of course, if you refer three friends to the app, just tell three people that you know about Weeble, and they're going to give you all the way up to 20 shares of Apple for free. Maybe you'll get one, maybe you'll get five, maybe you'll get two, maybe you'll get seven, maybe you'll get 15, maybe you'll get 20. It's random. You get what you get and you don't get upset, but even if you get one, it's an awesome opportunity, so don't pass up on it. Weeble link in the description. Time is running out. If you don't want the stocks, go and get them anyway. They're free. Why would you not? Then just sell them. Congratulations. Now you have the cash to go and get some silver, go and get some gold, go and get a hamburger if that's what you want. Weeble link in the description. And of course, finally, if anybody wants to try out some G Fuel Energy Formula, sugar-free, low-calorie, packed with a whole bunch of vitamins, 50 different flavors to choose from. This one happens to be peach rings. I recommend it. I also recommend Bahama Mama and Snow Cone. Those are my three favorite flavors. $5 off your first order by clicking the link in the description. I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.